Hi dear friends, I am happy to stand before you today to explain the customer related banking transactions. Before that, if you are watching my video for the first time, you may not be familiar with my pronunciation. So please be kind enough to activate the CC icon on this video. Then you will get the script of my lecture also. Then come to the customer related banking transactions. The customer related banking transactions are check received from the customer, check from the customer paid into the bank and check from the customer paid into the bank dishonored. Let's see all these transactions one by one. Dear friends, I am going to explain these transactions by using the modern approach. See number one, check received from the customer. When a check is received from the customer, it's treated in the same way as cash is received from the customer. General entry is passed just like cash is received from the customer. Therefore, the two affected accounts are cash account and customer's account. First, cash account. It's an asset. Falls under group number one. Rule of group number one is increase debited, decrease credited. Here, cash received, cash increased. Therefore, cash account is to be debited. Then customer's account. Customer's account or debtor's account is an asset account. It falls under group number one. Rule is increase debited, decrease credited. When customer gives cash or check, customer's account balance reduces. Therefore, customer's account is credited. Therefore, here the general entry of transaction number one is cash account debtor, for example, 5000 to customer's account 5000. Then transaction number two, check received from the customer paid into the bank. It is treated in the same way as cash is paid into the bank. Therefore, the two affected accounts are bank account and cash account. First, bank account. It's an asset account, falls under group number one. Rule is increase debited and decrease credited. Bank balance increased, therefore, bank account is to be debited. Then, cash. It's an asset, falls under group number one. Rule is increase debited and decrease credited. Cash balance reduced, therefore cash account is to be credited. Therefore, general entry of transaction number two is bank account debtor 5000 to cash account 5000. Then number three, check from the customer paid into the bank dishonored. Here the first good question is, what's the meaning of the term Dishonor. That means if the customer's bank refuses to pay the amount mentioned on the check, the check is said to be dishonored. Customer's bank didn't make the payment. Therefore, we didn't get the payment. See, we already debited our bank account in transaction number 2 and credited customer's account in transaction number 1. We assumed that the customer's bank will pay the amount on the correct date. Please see the general entries we already passed. They are for transaction number 1, cash account debtor 5000 to customer's account 5000. General entry for transaction number two, bank account debtor 5000 to cash account 5000. In transaction number one, we debited cash account and in transaction number two, we credited cash account. We debited cash account and credited cash account for the same amount. 
there is equal debit and equal credit in the cash account therefore the effect of the cash account get nullified that is there is zero effect in the cash account but that's not the case with the bank account and the customers account by consolidating the journal entry of transaction number one and transaction number two we will get a net journal entry the net journal entry can be separated from the journal entries of transaction number one and transaction number two by nullifying the cash account like this. A net entry is buying account at 5000 to customer's account 5000. This is the journal entry we already passed. Here check is dishonored, therefore we have to pass an adjusting journal entry by reversing this original journal entry. That is just reverse the entry already passed that is adjusting journal entry. Here the adjusting journal entry is customer's account at 5000 to bank account 5000. Therefore journal entry for check disowned is the adjusting journal entry. This journal entry takes the case of Receipt of check from the customer to its original position. Say dear students, this dishonoring check and its adjusting journal entry is very important. I request all of you to watch this video two or three times. Then you will get familiarized with the adjusting journal entries. And if you have any doubt, please note down it in the comment box. Please be kind enough to subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you again.